Hey, and welcome to marriage. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to marriage minutes at its pace. And this week we're going to be talking about the mindset of marriage. What is that? And so how we come across this topic is I'm reading this book and it's really challenging you to think about your mindset, uh, to declutter your mind and stay focused on things that are important. And so it's almost talking about having a servant's heart. So we talk about people who are great in sports. For example, for us, uh, Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Um, and when we think about him, the thing that drove him was his love of the game and his love for competition. And so as long as those two things were his driving force, that allowed him to excel and to be at a level that was not a lot of players weren't at. Whereas if you think about somebody who may just play for the money, so as the money goes, there their play goes. And so when you think about marriage, really, what are you in it for? Are you, what's your mindset? What are you really, what's driving you to be who you are? Are you playing it? Are you in it for the love of marriage to be what somebody in the world needs to see? Uh, do you love marriage? And is that driving you to be the best that you can be? I just love those freckles on your face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, I think what you're saying is, at least for me, the way I interpret it is, what's your motive? What's your what's motive? Your, what's, your, what's your motive behind marriage? And I think that that we get it all twisted and we think that I am getting married for you or my spouse to serve me. I am getting married so that I can benefit, so that I can feel a certain way, so that I can be added to, so I can be. And that is not what marriage is about. Marriage is completely about servanthood mm -hmm. and who can outserve the other. And ultimately, when we talk about Christ and his bride, Jesus loves the church. And so he loves the people that are of the church, right? And he wants to provide, he wants to protect, he wants to be the priest of the church and all the things that come with that. And that's a servant's heart. Conversely, the church should be that for, for Jesus as well. So I think that if you are able to tease out what your motive is, for marriage, you will have an easier time at least accepting when the job does not, the job description does not match your expectations or your intentions. Yeah, because if your mindset is right and if your motives are pure, when your circumstances get difficult, you may not necessarily bail because you're still driving because of your love for marriage. So when it gets tough, if your motive is still pure, you will still be able to stick in there. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. And so why can't we do that? Or why don't we do that? Or why are so many marriages ending after six months, nine months, 12 months, 18 months, two years? Why? Because they don't have the right motive? Well, they're looking for external factors to do something that maybe something internally can only do. Mm, talk to that a little bit more. That's so. Good. If, if I'm looking for my marriage to fill this hole in me, or whatever this hole represents, and it could be the many facets of marriage. It could be the fact that we're out on the town and we're always seen as a couple. If that's not filling the void, then it's not going to sustain itself. Or if the fact that you could just say you married and you got somebody to go home to, if that don't fill a void in terms of where you have companionship, and that don't do it for you, then when the wind blows, you you up. Mm -hmm. And so it depends on what are you filling that void with and how your mindset is 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 in place. 
Yeah, yeah. That's a mature role and that's a tough role to be in. And I think that's going to, I think your mer- your motives can change. And I also think that your motives can be t- tainted by some things. Because I think that we get caught up in the way things look or the way they appear or how they make us feel versus really sticking to the reason why we really should be doing something. Yeah. And um, I mean, it's just like in a job. You know, a lot of us may do it for money, but if we do the job because of what the job provides and we love it, the money piece will come. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can't put the cart before the horse. And so it just depends. I mean, marriage is hard enough, but when you're in it for the wrong reasons, or, or trying to escape something, you're going to be challenged. And when that challenge comes, you may opt out. I think that's a new record. I do. Those are love spots. 699 and 600 and, I mean, 702. Okay, end this, man. Right Because we're tired. End this. Be well, be blessed. Mm-hmm.